σε 400 μέτρα θα φτάσετε στον προορισμό σας. Ο προορισμός σας βρίσκεται στα δεξιά. Καλημέρα φίλοι, αυτού είναι SEM. First, I'd like to say thank you so much to my Agapi for making this video possible today. Right now, we are on a ferry boat passing through this beautiful one of the world's longest multi-span cable stayed bridge and longest of the fully suspended type in the world. Oh. Wow. Then, after 15 minutes on a ferry boat, we docked here in a large seaside town called Navpaktus with an impressive Venetian castle that includes a small fortified harbor that was an Athenian naval base during the Peloponnesian War. I think in the middle of a long travel, this town is worth to drop by with to have a stopover for coffee because of its beautiful and very relaxing ambience. After almost three hours of travel, finally we have arrived here in Iwanina or Yanina, the capital and largest city of the Yanina regional area and of Epirus in northwestern part of Greece. Before we are going to visit the Lake Pamvotida guys and the island, let me show you a quick tour here in the room that Mayagapi had rented. This is one of the good places that you can be able to stay while you are visiting Yanina. This apartment is around 45 to 60 euros depending on the season overnight stay. It has a double bed with a modern style room designed with some paintings with a flat screen TV, high speed Wi-Fi, hot and cold shower. This room is a non-smoking area but it has a rooftop that you can be able to smoke to relax to see the view from outside, see the sunrise and the sunset and the beauty of the city. Then it has a kitchen equipped with coffee and tea makers with a fridge, oven that you can be able to cook and this place is just 5 minutes drive to the mosques, castle and to the lake. About this lake, this is the largest lake of Epirus located in the central part of the Yanina Regional Unit in Northern Greece. Story has been told that this lake is known by the legend of a woman named Kyra Frosini who was claimed by three men, Ali Pasha, the great ruler of this place, his son, and a Greek citizen of Yanina. Later, she was found drowned together with the other 17 women in this lake. And another legend describes here that there is a secret tunnel that leads from the island to the city. I could say that 
this place is really worth visiting for and I wish to be here one day with my agape. It is because this is one of the northern Greece most atmospheric city and one of its more cultured and wealthy as it was famous throughout the Ottoman Empire for its silver artisans. Since this is an atmospheric place, most days the weather here is cold, so this place is a perfect escape during summer and spring. About food, usually they serve fish here from the lake, such as eels and trout, and they are cooked in sophisticated ways, together with frogs' legs, which is their special delicacies that became the hallmark of their cuisine. According to an article that I have read, that this lake has no season because it has the same water level all through the year. The reason is not known, but they guessed it that the caves provide a sort of overflow channels and drain the lake in winter when it gets lots of water from the surrounding mountains. From the ferry station of Lake Pamvutida, there is a ferry that always goes back and forth every few minutes to send the tourists for only 2 euros per route with a journey of 10 minutes to the island. Until now, the island has no name and it's still called the Island of Yanina, which is located in the Lake of Yanina, Epirus, Greece, with a land area of 0.675 kilometers square with the biggest length of 800 meters and biggest width of 500 meters. The following videos are the things that you can be able to find in the island. Από την αυξημένη φορολογία που ασκούσε στον πλούσιο μεγαλέμπορα σύζυγό τη. Καλοπιάνει λοιπόν ο Αντιβασά, η νύφη του, χαρίζοντα τη σχόλα και πλούσια δόρη, και τη ζητά να συγχωρήσει τον Ρουφά. Εκείνη είναι αμετάπιστη και απειλεί τον Αντιβασά ότι εάν δεν τιμωρήσει την Ρουσίνη, που τη έκλειψε την Ελλάδα, θα επιστρέψει στον πατέρα τη. Η Μπρέιν Πασά από το Περάκι. Με ό,τι αυτό σημαίνει για τι πολιτικέ και στρατιωτικέ ισορροπίε του Αλή Πασά. Έτσι, ο Αλή Πασά αναγκάστηκε να υποκύψει τι απαιτήσει τη γυναίκα του. Surely this island is perfect for a walk, to buy souvenirs to bring home, a perfect place to experience new things. New flavors of food, a perfect place to relax, to explore, to learn new culture and history, to feed your soul. In this place, you can be able to witness the history and the legend about the story that I've told you on set about Lake Pambutida.
And now we are moving to our last destination, which are the Pambutis Caves. According to another article that I have read about Lake Yanina, that the lake in Yanina is seemed to be a karst lake, but there is no scientific literature about it. Just the whole area around Yanina is karstified and it is mostly bare karst and it's clearly visible. There are several caves here too and one of it is the Pirama cave that we are about to see in a while. Look, there is a couple swan. So sweet! So finally, we have arrived here in Pambotis Cave, which is called the Pirama Cave. This is actually the largest cave in Greece, wow, with 4.8 acres and a six-long corridor with 1,700 meters length. And this cave is just located five kilometers away from the center of the city of Yanina. And this is all the video for today, guys. I hope you have learned a lot from this video. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet. So I will be inspired more in creating a more interesting videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. I love you. Be well. God bless. Bye-bye. Kalinita.